Hi guys, this is Patrick for Screen Studio. And today I wanted to talk about Popcorn Time. Yeah, it's an alternative for Netflix for Ubuntu user and actually not just Ubuntu user. I think it does work uh, on other platforms like Windows and Macs. But uh, since I'm running Ubuntu, that's what I'm ter interested in. So uh, basically what you do, you download from their website or just look in Google for Popcorn Time. But the uh, URL is www.timeforpopcorn.eu. And then simply download the archive. And it's uh, on, Ubu on Ubuntu 14.04, it's almost working out of the box, but you need to do a small, uh, small uh, tweak to make it work. Uh, last time I tried it, I had to do it, maybe with the latest version. So in uh, the download folder, here is the archive for Linux 64 and then extract here and almost done and there we go popcorn time is uncompressed and available here so normally you double click on this but it should not work let's try by opening opening the terminal and move into the download folder cd download CD popcorn ls okay there we go we have the executable here dot slash and let's try it first but maybe it's working now no it's not it's actually looking for a library called libudev.so.0 but in uh, ubuntu 14.04 we have libudev.so.1. We don't have the zero. So what you need to do, call a sudo, sudo, sorry, bash. It will be easier for the demonstration. So I'm going to log in as root and my password. And I'm going to move into the folder lib slash x. 86 that's for a 64-bit Linux of course and in there you have lib uh, udev something there we go so we have the lib udev.so.1 so what we want to do is create uh, a link <coughs> to this file but with the proper name so as root ln um, uh, ln dash s lib udev udev uh, so dot one as lib udev so dot zero. There we go. Now exiting from root and try it again. And this time it will start. And as you can see, um, first it's initializing. And then you have a bunch of movies available and they're using torrent feed uh, to feed your movies. So uh, you can have TV shows and movies. You can search for a movie. Let's look for Spider-Man. There we go. And we should get all Spider-Man movies currently available through their service, which is a uh, free free as open source, free as uh, not quite legal. That's the thing. Popcorn time is, th the idea is amazingly good, uh, but you're kind of playing on uh, almost on the illegal, illegal, illegal side of the law. Um, I just wanted to show you that great software. The, the thing is, oh, there's no mo uh, TV shows called Spider-Man so and then if you want to look at something um, let's go into movie first and what it will do it will start downloading uh, a part of the movie so you will be able to start watching it so let's go for a Lego movie there we go so you have the descriptions 
you have uh, the list of the av available subtitles, you have sometimes the uh, format of the movie that is av available, 720p, 1080p, and so on, and then you click. Uh, you can have access, uh, access to the trailer. Um, it's quite like Netflix, but it's free. Uh, and you click watch it now and it will start streaming. I won't do it because I don't want to uh, get into trouble by uh, playing a movie in my video feed, but you get the idea. Uh, basically, when you start a movie, uh, it will take a few minutes, like up maybe to five minutes before the movie starts. So you need to be a little bit patient here, but uh, eventually it will start playing. Uh, the other thing, the, the downside is you really need a fast computer to, uh, for the movie to be smooth. Of course, the higher the quality, the more powerful your computer will need to be. Uh, if I remember well, there's a version also available for Android. Um, I tried it, uh, but couldn't get any movie to play. So I don't know if it's my tablet actually uh, having issues or... Uh, but it would not work. But it, on uh, on Ubuntu, it does work. Sometimes some movie won't start. Um, maybe uh, if there's not enough people feeding the movie over the net, but um, you just have to try it out, and eventually uh, some movie uh, some movies will work. Uh, but the the interface is uh, really nice. Um, it's quite easy to uh, move from one movie to the other um, it's it's a good app even though it's not quite legal it's amazingly good and that's a good alternative to uh, Netflix on Ubuntu so hope you enjoyed that little tour of popcorn time this video was recorded with screen studio that you can get at screenstudio.crumbs.com let's let's show wait, show it right now <clears throat> you can download for ubuntu 1404 screen studio the binary is available here and that's it for tonight hope you enjoyed and see you another time bye